This right here is the best beginner complete skateboard. And you might be asking yourself, why, Aaron, why is this the best beginner complete skateboard? Well, I'll answer you. So I took my 30 years of skateboarding experience and I tested many, many different completes, many different items from many different companies, down to the wheels, what kind of bearings, all the coarseness of the grip tape, etc. And I settled on this one. So we'll start and we'll go through each piece of this board and I'll explain to you why this is good specifically for a beginner. So the grip tape is really really important to me as a skateboarder um, and a lot of skateboarders will be like I will not skate a board with this certain kind of grip tape etc. So you have to get a good grip tape um, and this is I feel like we really nailed it on this and found a really good grip tape. The coarseness is good and it has this V on the back which is really good for a beginner because you have to know where your nose and where your tail is. And if it's just all black with no graphic or nothing, it's hard to tell. But you know, if the bee's in the back, your nose is forward and you're rocking and rolling in the right direction. Next thing is this hardware has the two blue bolts, which also indicates your nose. Um, so that's what that is for, and that's why that's good for a beginner. That takes us to the wood. So the wood on this deck is seven ply hard rock Canadian maple. Um, this, the kind of glue that they use is it's a water-based glue. So this is not an epoxy glue, which would be the world's most strongest and it's much more expensive, the epoxy glue. Um, but you won't notice a difference with this board to a fully hardcore Canadian maple epoxy glue board unless you're going over five or more stairs. So again, this is a board that's made as a complete and made specifically to be also more cost effective for a person to get started into skateboarding. Because you might be like, oh, I really want to skateboard. And then your mom or your dad might be like, I don't know, are you going to stick with it? And yes, you better stick with it. That's what I'm here for. But they might not want to spend $150, $160 on a board. But this one right here, you can get this guy for $99 and every now and then it goes on a little sale, so you can check it out as well. But this board, because of the glue, it is more cost effective than your average skateboard. And having all the components together like this also makes it a little bit more easy on the wallet for you. The trucks are good metal trucks with really good bushings. Um, we also went through a lot, I tested a lot of different trucks and bushing combos for this. The bushings are not too soft, they're not too hard. And I think they came out really good and it's really kind of a cool color combo with the white and the blue. Um, but you'll notice a lot of beginner skateboards, if you go to Target or Walmart, the trucks are plastic. So that's just your instant telltale sign. Plastic trucks are gonna be far, far, far cheaper. They're gonna break, they're not gonna roll as well. Um, but these are really good metal trucks that you can learn grinds. You can learn any kind of trick that you're gonna wanna learn. You can learn it on these trucks. That takes me to the wheels. So these are 52 millimeter wheels, which is, in my opinion, my humble opinion, not too big, not too small. They're just the right size for a beginner to get learning how to roll. And you're not gonna like have too much trouble with hitting rocks and falling, because 52 is big enough, and it's not too small that you're also gonna be like, oh, I'm trying to do a kickflip, but my wheels are so big, it makes the board so heavy, and it's going around really slow. So I really thought it out really carefully. What does a beginner need and what kind of components can I put on a board and make it really cost effective for a person to get started into skateboarding, which is my whole mission. Oh, you've never been interested in skateboarding? Well, get started and let's get you your best beginner complete and get you rolling. These are ABEX 7 bearings and you might ask, what does that mean? Well, the higher the number, the better the bearing. So on some of these other beginner completes, you'll get an ABEC 5, ABEC 4. We topped for a higher quality bearing because one of the things that I found when I tested these really cheap boards is that they wouldn't roll. And then I would find their lack of rolling to make it really a lot more difficult to skate. So I've been skating for 30 years, I can kickflip every single time, and I get on some of these boards and I go, Ugh! and it just doesn't work. Um, but not this one, I specifically designed it to be a really good, as close as you can get to a high quality top professional skateboard, but it's specifically made for beginners. 
So that covers the best beginner complete. I hope that answers every single and all questions that you may have had about the board. If not, send us a question and we'll answer that for you and hopefully you get started skateboarding and have an absolute blast.